Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to be making my shrimp today with um, over some cold sauce, the homemade cold sauce. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Happy Sunday. I know it's Palm Sunday. Um, hopefully, you guys attended your church lives today. But um, so, anyway, so moving on, we're going to do. I posted earlier today, I had already made this um, this dinner a few weeks ago, and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do, <laughs> Wait, mom, so say I'm hi to Blanca. Hi, Blanca. Hi, Tia. Hi, Tia. Hi, Tia. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what I'm gonna do, okay? Let me tell you what I have here, because I have two separate things going on here, so. For the shrimp, I did wash them and I uh, we took the shells off and everything. But um, so you don't want the shells, you want them deveined and all that. So I have some shrimp here. I'm gonna for the seasonings. I'm gonna add garlic salt, some Julio seasoning. I'm gonna add some red chili flakes. I am gonna fry them up in butter and some garlic. And then for my coleslaw, the coleslaw is really simple, you guys. It's only like three ingredients and then seasonings, but it's a whole almost a whole head of uh, of the cabbage and then I'm gonna do five limes in there some mayonnaise some seasonings and the apple cider vinegar okay so I'm actually gonna start that first because what you want to do is you want to have your coleslaw um, you know just getting all the wet ingredients and it needs to kind of pickle a little bit so we're gonna start with that first, okay I did wash my hands. And then when you're slicing it, just, you know, kind of like if, if you're doing coleslaw, I mean, if you're eating coleslaw, just very thinly sliced. <clears throat> so how's your day going? Did you guys do anything special? I was a little pissed off earlier because I saw that our president did not let Dr. Fauci speak, which pissed me off, but... Anyways, that's just the leader that he is. Say hi to Grandma and Grandpa and Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Pop. And Edna Rivera. Hi, Edna. Grandma said hi, Mija. Hi, Mom. I'm sure there's a better way of cutting the coleslaw, but it's all going to get cut up anyways. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Grandpa put hi mija, but he put H I G H. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and Maru de la Paz is watching. Hi, Maru. Oh my god. I hope you like that keto. I hope you're making the meatloaf. The meatloaf's really good. <clears throat> so, so, if you just joined, I'm making um, it's shrimp. It's fried shrimp. I'm gonna fry it up in butter, but I'm gonna do it over a homemade coleslaw. This is this is keto and it's non-keto. If you guys wanna, I'm sure you guys have had shrimp over a salad before. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And it's so easy. And then we're gonna show you something that Lisa made earlier today. She made a, she made ceviche, <laughs> so we're kind of having like a little seafood, um, night. a seafood theme. Okay, so here is my, let's see the other one. Okay, there's the cabbage. And like I said, I'm gonna squeeze in five limes. So if you wanted to, you could do this in one bowl, like a separate bowl, you can make this mixture and then put it in, but I'm gonna do it this way. And what I mean by that is you can actually mix in your lime with your mayonnaise and with your uh, apple cider vinegar. Mom, um, Marut asked, oh no, she said, I'm making the meatloaf tomorrow. We'll go back to the video to follow the Ooh, steps. Yay. And then Alex Carrera is watching, Karen Hi, Alex. Oh, got it. Got it. Hi, Karen. How's that family, Miha? Okay, so lime, 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 lime. Mm. Lots of lime. How many limes? 
I put five, but I think I'm gonna put more, maybe. Just depending how juicy they are? Yeah. We have a lime tree outside, but Benisa used the last limes. <laughs> They're actually blooming, that tree's full of these little tiny limes, it's so cute. Okay. So, just mix it. It doesn't have to be super wet because it's like coleslaw. Coleslaw's not, you know, super wet or anything. Okay, so to that, I am gonna add, um, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar is really strong, so you don't need a lot. If I, if I had made a smaller portion of this, then I would just, you know, do one tablespoon. Okay. You can already smell, so usually the apple cider vinegar, it actually pickles any type of vinegar. will pickle like a dish. Um, if you're trying to do like pickled onions or, I don't know, pickle like a coleslaw, um, it'll pickle it for you. It'll make it sweet too. Mom, say hi to Ismen Tovar. Hi. <laughs> um, Patty Dillard, Megan McCallany, <laughs> Alejandro Cabrero. <laughs> I'm sorry oh, for getting your name wrong. Right <laughs> so sorry, Delena Martinez. Hi. So I added, I added about two tablespoons of um, of mayonnaise. I'm probably gonna add oh, one more. You don't need a lot, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna add one more. So again, this is kind of a bigger portion. And say hi to Tanya Sandra Flores. Castro. Hi, Tanya. How are San Antonio? I see numbers are rising there too. I hope you guys are staying inside because this, this is no joke. <laughs> I almost cursed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep it clean. <laughs> okay. So I want you guys to look. See how it, you can kind of see like the mayonnaise in there. There's not too much. Um, so I'm just gonna season it now. And you want to put, you do want to put a lot of pepper in it. So I'm gonna put pepper, pepper, pepper. Jose's watching. Mom. Hi, Jose. Okay, and then I'm gonna get. Some Himalayan salt. We're gonna salt it just for flavor. And Ray Meza is watching. Hi, Ray. <laughs> he asked, what are you making? Oh, I'm making shrimp, like fried shrimp with butter. In butter, I mean, and I'm gonna put over coleslaw, a homemade coleslaw. Mm. And mm. what I've added in here so far is mayonnaise, apple cider vinegar, and, um, some lime and then my seasonings just so that it can kind of start pickling uh, like coleslaw. You could add if you wanted to some carrots in here, some like um, shredded carrots, but that's not keto for me, so I'm not gonna add um, carrots. Hmm. But you could, you can even add, um, you can add other veggies like maybe um, um, celery, you can do celery in there. Mom, your Tia Blanca asked, what if you don't like mayo? If you don't like milk, you're screwed. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But you could do you could do this shrimp over rice if you wanted to. Um, you don't have to do over coleslaw. Um, you can even do it maybe over a salad, maybe some ranch dressing. So there's a lot that you can do. Mm -hmm. I'm very creative. And then Eric Dillard is watching. Hi, Eric. Ray Mesa, he said, there's nothing you can't do, Martha Martinez. <laughs> he said hello there. Yeah. I'm superwoman. Hmm. Okay, so so as you guys can see, I'm gonna leave it alone, and I'm probably gonna add more pepper. I, re I really want more pepper, you guys. So I'm gonna add more. <laughs> the girls like stuff spicy too. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then later, if you want to, you can taste it again, um, and then you can add more. You can add more. Um, more of the uh, the salt if you wanted to. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Dad texts me saying your mom's wine is in the bar. <laughs> that's that's a small glass. <laughs> Keep it light. It's the smallest one that we that I have for myself. <laughs> okay, 
So I'm gonna start doing this shrimp. Okay, while that's marinating and, and its own juices in there, it's, it's coleslawing or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm gonna start doing the, I'm gonna start chopping up the garlic. I just want in little pieces. If it makes it into the dish, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just the flavor um, that it's gonna get with the butter and, and that's the flavor that it's gonna give to the, to the, um, the shrimp. Um, say hi to Colleen Venegas. Hi, Colleen. And then Blanca Nava is watching. Oh, Colleen, um, I just want to say, so she's, I know that she's a nurse, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the nurses out there. You guys, you know, you guys mean so much to us right now. So again, you know, I keep saying you guys stay inside. I went to the store because I had to, right? I mean, we, we still have to go get groceries and stuff, but I went to the store today and I can't tell you how sad it is that we, you know, normally we go to a store out here and this time we went to a Hispanic store and it's called Carnival and I am going to say its name because I really feel like the owners at that place should really look at what they're doing because there's so many people there. So many people not even six feet apart like they weren't they weren't even mandating any of that like it was crazy and i saw so many people without masks and today california actually started that you have to wear a mask and i'm pretty sure i think that's what uh president trump is advising anyways but we're all supposed to wear masks if, if we're in um you know a grocery store or be visiting costco anything like that um, we're required to wear masks. Everybody's wearing a mask and gloves. I wore some, I, I wore a Vanessa wore too. And it was just sad, you guys, seeing how, um, not to offend anyone, but how our Hispanic culture um, is really not taking it serious. And, and I mean that, not to offend anyone, but it's so true. I saw so many elderly people there without masks, without gloves, and it was just really sad. It was really sad. Nobody giving you your space. Like it was just that. I actually walked out of there and I had so much anxiety. Benisa was like, Mom, calm down. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. anyways. Um, mommy, say hi to Crystal Hernandez. Hi, Crystal. Eric, uh, he said amen to the doctors and nurses. Yeah. And then Devin is watching. She said hi, fam. Hi, Devin. Hi, me. I'm so sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. And Sandra Longoria is watching. So you guys, I'm gonna, um, I added about a tablespoon of the olive oil. And I'm also gonna add, I'm also gonna add about two tablespoons of butter. I think that's two tablespoons, right? <laughs> okay. And what I wanted to do is, uh, so the butter, the olive oil usually prevents butter from burning. So that's kind of why I added that too anyways, but um, I'm gonna let it just get hot for a second. Dad's watching Cheers. <laughs> I, used, I used to have a bigger one and I would pour my whole wine in there. One the whole bottle. Mm -hmm. Yep. That was the only glass I would have though. <laughs> Um, Crystal Hernandez, she said hola, and then Devin gave you a red heart for saying that, and then Jamie Almaraz is watching. Hi. Okay, you're chopping up names, Bella. What? Yeah. You keep chopping up names. Yeah, Oh, Jaime. Oh, I, I was like, Jamie. uh. <laughs> oh, my God. I was Excuse like, I don't Bella. think. <laughs> As you guys can see, you can hear it sizzling. Not I'm burning. Going, it's not burning. I'm gonna add my garlic. Oh my god, that smells so good. Got this one. Garlic always smells good when uh, when you're cooking like that, right? So anyways, again, I just wanted to get like the flavor. I'm not looking for it to get crunchy or anything like that. Although that sounds really good. <laughs> um, I'm going to add my shrimp. 
These are washed, they're deveined. <clears throat> and I do like my shrimp a little crispy, so I'm gonna let them cook past their little orange point. To the shrimp, I am adding some garlic salt. Yes, I'm gonna add some polios. <laughs> And I do want it a little spicy. So I'm gonna add some red chili flakes. And then, I'm also gonna add pepper. You guys, this smells so good. Is Aiden watching? Cause he's the one who wanted me to make this. Not yet. <laughs> Raiden, where are you? Raiden. <clears throat> okay, so you can just let that sizzle. And as I'm cooking it, um, I am gonna add one more time. I'm gonna go over it one more time with more garlic salt, more pepper, um, as I'm turning it. Mom, Grandma asks, so on the cold sauce, can you do regular vinegar? Mm. You can. You can, Mom. The only thing is that um, the apple cider vinegar, it has like a sweet flavor. But uh, since I'm on keto, I can't have nothing really, really sweet. You can probably add sugar to the vinegar, just mm. a little bit of sugar. And even if it's a sugar that is um, like a non-keto sugar, you guys, or a sugar-free sugar, maybe like an equal, Mom, but not a lot, you can actually mix it in there and it'll get that sweet taste. A little bit of the sweet taste. Mm. Yeah, come on, keep those questions coming. <laughs> so I went when I went to the groceries today, I'm gonna make bosone. Um what else am I making? Oh, so I actually have some meat cooking overnight because we're gonna do some shredded um, some shredded beef tacos tomorrow. Or it's actually gonna be for like the morning, I think. But even with the shredded beef, you can do like a machacada in the morning with some eggs. Oh, Rebecca Stoops is watching mom. Hi, Rebecca. Okay, so see how they're, they're orange. You can, they're actually cooked, they're fully cooked when they turn orange, but I want them, I want mine a little bit crispy, so I'm gonna let them still cook. That looks good. Mm -hmm. So this dish right here would probably feed about, or this much shrimp would probably feed maybe three people, um, but today it's gonna feed me and John. <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because Vanessa earlier today made some ceviche and they're gonna have ceviche. They're, my family is like full of what I don't like and do like. Catherine doesn't like shrimp. Baby doesn't like shrimp. I think it's me, Bella, Vanessa, and uh, John that like shrimp. But I decided to do this today for the live and then Vanessa did a, um, <clears throat> she did her shrimp ceviche earlier and it's so good. It's in the fridge and I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay. So let's get that. Patty said, miss you guys, keep safe. Oh, you too, Patty. All right. And you can see also like the, the garlic, see how it's getting kind of crispy? And that's okay, that's totally okay. You guys, so I just tasted the coleslaw. Mm, it's so good. So, I think it just, it might need just a little more salt, but again, this is to your, it's to your taste. You don't have to add salt. <laughs> Amanda Chapman is watching, Mom. Hi, Amanda. Did you say Amanda? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mom, yeah. um, your Tia Blanca, she asked, sorry, didn't hear if you used something else besides the mayo. So, 
-hmm. What else did you use? I used mayonnaise. I used apple cider vinegar and lime. And then just seasonings, yeah. So a lot of pepper. You can again you can add a shredded carrots if you wanted to. Shredded carrots are good. Just to make it look pretty here. So I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> okay. So like I'm gonna probably, this would be my dish here. And then I wanted to show you guys, can you give me a tostada please? to show you guys what Vanessa did. And I do like mayonnaise on my tostada. Um, by the way, um, corn tortillas are not keto, but I'm cheating today. Just one. So I'm just gonna have one. Okay, so um, I'll tell you how I like to do mine. You don't have to do it this way, of course. Uh, absolutely not, but. I do. I like mayonnaise. Vanessa made this delicious chunier. Mm -hmm. She made ceviche today, you guys. So good. She was being shy. She didn't want to do the live. So, okay. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> okay. So here's a ceviche. Look at that, you guys. Oh, so good. So today, tonight was a seafood dinner kind of night. Here you go, my wine. I'm probably gonna eat all of this, so don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> and I might have more ceviche later. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know how the recipes are working. Thank you for those of you who are making the recipes and sending me feedback. Um, please like and share you guys share you know what the recipes if you like them and like I always tell you season the way that you want to whether it's less or more it's up to you I like more but our family likes a lot of seasonings um, you know feel more than free to um, experiment with your own seasonings like just do it you never know how something's gonna come out unless you try right and then lastly Please, please be safe. Stay at home. Wear your mask when you go out. Wear your gloves when you go out. Stay six feet away from people. Um, and that's it, you guys. Be safe. Cheers.